qualities of being a transportation provider is the fact that you reach and help out so many people. You're literally touching lives every day. You're, you're helping facilitate their recovery and their health. That's what makes being a provider matter the most. You're, you're helping people on a daily basis reach their, their level of normalcy. There was a client earlier today that received transportation services from my company. He was actually going for a checkup just to follow up um, on a surgery that he received earlier. And come to find out, he actually has an infection. And as a result of his infection, he has to go over to the ER. If he would have missed this appointment, would have likely had to go to the ER later on tonight via ambulance if anyone detected the actual issue. See, what what the service that you provide is very important. This is a private pay client. This isn't a Medicaid broker client. He probably, he might have been left if he was a broker client. He might have missed his appointment. And if he already had an infection from a previous surgery, the way they would have known that he needed to go to the ER is because he would have likely had a fever, stopped eating, had some pus coming out of the wound, but it wouldn't have been because he was just going to a follow-up. The service you provide is preventive care. Now think about it. If an ambulance has to come get him, that's four, maybe five hundred dollars just off the rip. And then emergency care, emergency surgery. But instead, this particular facility booked transportation with my company. We had plenty of time to go pick the client up. We got him to his initial appointment. The doctor took a look at him. We had time and we were available to take him from the doctor's office to the emergency room. That's beautiful. That's how non-emergency medical transportation is supposed to work. And look how much money it saved, not only the facility, but that particular consumer. Our rates for a one-way trip is a third of the cost of an ambulance, if not, if, if not even less. You're saving the taxpayers money. You're not stealing from the American people. You're providing a quality service to the American people. You're helping to maintain a person's way of life and you're promoting recovery for that particular That's what you're supposed to do. That's the service you should focus on and want to provide. This is what you're here to do. It's bigger than all, I'm just picking people up and dropping them off. You're providing a service that there's a very high demand for. And you know what I'm about to say, and you deserve to be compensated fairly for the service you're providing. Stop letting brokers tell you how much you work. Watch this. If you're providing services to private pay clients, if you're already providing services to private pay clients, and someone comes to you and says, we're gonna pay you $20 for a wheelchair trip. Now you have the power to walk away from that deal. Or you have the power to say, no, I need 45. And then y'all find somewhere in between. What's the average of 20 and 45? It's like $33. Initially, they wanted to pay you 20. I could work with a, a, a zero to three, $33 wheelchair uh, contract. I could work with that. And guess what? They're not gonna send you a lot of trips, but guess what? You don't need a lot of trips. Why? Because your private pay game is on point. Your B2B game is on point. You certified. So whatever you receive from that broker, three, four trips, eight trips a day, 
That's just gravy, man. That's the cream filling. I know I'm gonna put it in the food, bro. Just out here vibing at the hospital. You know. Y'all know I'm getting wait time. Hopefully this is gonna help. You need help building your NEMT. Reach out to me.